Hello everyone, Succulents Box here again. Have you ever overwatered your succulent? If so, did you know we have a few ways you could save them? In today's video, we're going to give you some helpful tips to help you diagnose and rescue your overwatered succulents. How do you know if your succulent is overwatered? Usually, these are some of the signs. First, it's waterlogged soil. When you check the soil of your succulents, if you get clumps of soil and not separated grains of soil, it's an overwatered sign. Next, let's check the color of the leaves. If your succulent is overwatered, the leaves close to the bottom are brown, whereas the overall leaves and stems look bloated and feel squishy to the touch. The leaves feel light or become translucent. Could be the whole leaf or just patches, due to excess water breaking the cell walls. New growth is brown. When your plant is showing early signs of overwatering, it is literally drowning from too much water and needs to be dried out as soon as possible. The earlier you intervene, the greater chance you have to save your plant. Keep away from the sun. You need to keep your succulents away from the sun. Yes, it sounds counterintuitive when you want to get rid of the excess water from the soil. The rationale is this, the succulent is already under stress from too much water and direct sunlight just compounds the problem. So just place the plant in a dry area with bright indirect light, like near an east facing window, where the sunlight isn't quite as strong but your succulent will still benefit from the morning light. Let the roots air dry. Letting the roots air dry is also very important. Dig the succulents out and remove excess soil stuck to the roots. Cut off any brown slash black roots and leaves as these are already rotten. Next, just leave the plant on a mesh or any kind of dry plate till the roots are air dried in two to three days. Once dry, replant in a suitable well-draining potting mix and do not water immediately. You need to wait for about a week before watering and refrain from overwatering again. Change the soil and improve the drainage. In addition, don't forget to change the soil and improve its drainage to rescue your overwatered dying succulent. If your succulent is already planted in succulent soil, store bought or homemade, you might not have to change it completely. You could just add more perlite to the mix to make the soil more porous. Generally, algae, green living matter, grows on overwatered soil. If this is the case, it's your job to get rid of all the topsoil. Throw it in a bin far away from your plants and replace it with fresh succulent soil. Propagation. Propagation is the last resort in case your succulent can't recover from its condition. Leaf propagation can be tricky and you will need as many healthy leaves as possible to ensure that some of them can make it. To do this carefully, take a leaf off by holding the stem and performing a twisting motion to pull the leaf off the plant entirely. Poor cutting can result in the leaves not being able to sprout roots. Put the leaves on a paper towel until the cut ends dry out for five to seven days. Place the leaves somewhere dry and out of direct sunlight and allow them to dry for a few weeks. Plant them in a tray or a shallow pot in succulent soil mix. Miss every few days for the roots to grow, but make sure there is good drainage or when the soil feels dry, wait for the roots to grow and now you will have some new succulents for your garden. If you're new to succulents, it's hard to figure out the right watering routine for your succulents. Just make sure to check the soil carefully each time you water your succulents and look out for underwatering and overwatering signs. Sometimes you'll under or overwater your plants. However, don't worry much about that. You'll get better at caring for your succulents. If you guys enjoyed and found these tips helpful and useful, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and we'll see you again next time. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.